In this episode, it is the end of an era. 599. 599. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. The bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Test, 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 Ickles, test, Ickles. Welcome, everyone, to episode 599 of Zadele Mother Swell, the most muscular swole cast, beer cast, broadcast, game cast, yo cast, pump cast, and nipple cast. Ooh, burner. In the realm, the last time I'm going to punch, pinch my nipples in the 500s. Because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps, Everest and K2 flexing on you, er damn day, baby, er damn day, what, er damn day, baby, oh my goodness. Welcome everyone to episode 599, the end of an era. Wow, right? Right? Right. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I mean, look on the board, look on the board, no more. No more, it says. Yep, no more to the fives. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to appreciate the fact that unlike the calendar coming up, where you just reset, you change a number. Now we're back to January 1st. No, 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 no. There's no 500 of the Daily Soul ever again. Like there'll never be 510, 591, 99, 76. No more 500s. It's going to be episode 600. God, man, it, catch, it goes fast. It goes fast. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for being here every day and being here all the time and doing the thing and being like, hello, and putting up with me and, you know, and all that. (laughs) Thank you for putting up with Papa Swolio. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Where'd my question of the day? The comment of the day for uh, for 599 is very simple. It was just a comment. It was a very simple comment. It's from Tyler Russell. And Tyler says, about to hit the gym, had to catch your live feed, definitely need more straight up trainers like you, Papa Swolio. Done. Let's do another one here. Billy Hopper, the journey of a thousand miles starts with just one step. Gotta go, Papa Swolio. Keep on hitting the gains. <clears throat> I like it. Mike Stuttle, I was on pain meds for five years. Shoulder and back were fucked. I'm off all pain medication. I feel like I'm 20 years old. Swolnormous X is life-changing. Holy shit. Holy shit. I had a bunch of those on one. I just decided to read more. So Mike Stuttle, Tyler Russell, Billy Hopper, what up, fam? What's going on, fam? Oh, love you guys. Love you guys. Everyone watching, guys, gals, love you. Love you. And I feel like... I feel like every time, well, I guess it's true. Every time I do this, everyone's watching. It's not just you. It's your families or friends, your kids. It just goes so many places. So when you tag someone, when you share the broadcast, it means everything, especially when you tag someone. Because when you share, it's great. Sometimes people might see what you share. But when you tag someone, it's like taking their head and being like, look at this. Look at it. It's like rubbing. That's what I want. That's what I want. For my holidays, for my Christmas. That's what Papa Swolio wants. I want a tag for Christmas. So tag someone. Just don't tag like your dead dog. Like tag a person. Because when you think about it, you want someone to see this, you share it. They might, they might see it. But if you want them to watch it, it's like you got to rub the dog's, like if a dog pees on the ground, you got to let them know what you're pissed off about. You got to rub their nose in it and say no and spank them while you rub their nose and piss. So it's like taking someone's head. It's like, take your head, look at this bearded fucking guy. Look at it. Look at it. Look what you did. Look what you did. Bad. Bad. Papa Solio, good. Bad. Good. Papa Solio, good. <sighs> now that we got that on the right foot, <clears throat> now we can get started. End of an era. It's a couple ways end of an era. So 599, let's just reflect a little bit on, because it's perfect timing, because the year has passed. It's the 26th. The year hath passed. The holiday hath passed. Passeth. I know we got New Year's coming up, but New Year's doesn't count. This is bullshit. We're not even going to fucking address it. Uh, we're going to spit all over it, and we're going to poo-poo it, and we're going to say, fuck you, New Year's. At least Christmas has you know some fundamental memories, and all your raising children, and they have this mythical idea of what goes around. You say, hi, you, sometime of the holidays, happy New Year. It's Why? Because the same stars in the same place? The New Year, is a that's a crock of shit. We got better stuff to do. 
a new year. It's a new day. You should treat every fucking day like a new year, right? Why can't every day be a fucking new year? I'm going to rage on this for the next few days, so get ready for it. Every fucking day is a new year. Why can't it not be? Because the calendar doesn't say so. Doth the sun not riseth every fucking day the same way that it does. And don't get all astrological. No, well, the North Star is over here and Sirius is over there. So <laughs> it's really not to shame. It's not really, <laughs> you can't say that because the Milky Way is over on the south end. You can't say it's a shame because it's not. It's the same fucking thing. The sun rises in the east, great. The sun sets in the west, great. You know, it's the same fucking thing. But we add, we need organization, right? Why do we need organization as human beings? Because if we just had days, we would go fucking nuts. If we just had sunrise, sunset, we wouldn't know how old we are. Wouldn't know, we wouldn't know when our car payment was due if we didn't have a date. The calendar goes for bills, right? The calendar goes for bills. You know, when to pay your bill, when your taxes are due. That's what the clock is really for, is to keep all human beings, you know, in one pen like cows. It keeps us organized. But it's also great. Like, hey, you're meeting someone on Tuesday? Cool. And you can actually meet them on Tuesday. Otherwise, you'd be like, what day is it? You forget. You get, a hung, you get hung over. You lose track of the day. You, sleep, you wake up. It's in the evening. You think it's the same night and you're fucked up for the rest of your life. But you never catch back up. All right. So I get it. I, I get what we have. We just need some organization. As human beings, we need organization. But you also need to separate from that organization and realize that every day is a new year. So if you start your new years, what if you start your new year? What if new year is from now on, on the 26th? That means next year on the 26th, you'd be like, happy new year. Like if you got hit on the head and everyone just switched the calendar around, you wouldn't know the fucking difference between the 26th and the 1st or the 1st and the 7th. You wouldn't know the difference between the actual day, like living in it, like, oh, does the sky look different because it's January 1st? No. So it's very arbitrary. I want you to think about that because, because every day is a new year, essentially, from today until the next 365 and a quarter days, it's technically our system of a year. So today could be your brand new year. Why wait? Why wait to change your life? Why wait four days? Why put shit off? Don't do something tomorrow that you can get done today. Don't fucking push this back. Don't make an excuse to do it tomorrow. Don't be a lazy fuck. Anyone that waits, oh, I'm going to start on Monday. Oh, I'm going to wait till next week. Fuck you. Any, God, my, my career as a personal trainer in the past, that's one of the things that got me so tired of just doing personal training because dealing with people one-on-one -on -one is fucking nauseating sometimes. You get so, I, I just would choose. That's why when I do this, when I'm doing what I'm doing now, I'm attracting the people that are like-minded. I'm gathering. We're all gathering in the same place with the same mentality. We're all fucking building this together, the right mindset. I don't have to deal with fucking people that are just never going to succeed. And you know that. And a lot of trainers just have to lie to people because that's how they make money. You got to be like, oh, you can do it. You can do it. Sure. And you hear people say, oh, I can't make an excuse. Oh, that's too bad. And you have to commiserate and just pretend like you fucking care about their problems. Oh, really? Oh man. That's a, give me a fucking break. Shut up. Go to a psychiatrist, get a boyfriend, get a girlfriend, like get a dog, like start to pour out your fucking heart, do work, get fucking work done. Stop looking for a handout or arm around your shoulder. Let's fucking get it done. Let's toughen up world. Let's toughen up. Why can't every day be a new year? Why can't every day be the first day of the rest of your fucking life? Stop using it as a cliche. That's a terrible cliche. That's a fucking fact. That's a fucking fact. Every day is the first day of the next 365. Am I wrong or do I not understand basic math and how a fucking calendar works? Today is the first day and 365 days from now and a quarter <laughs> for all you nitpicking sons of bitches out there. It's going to be a year, right? Would you say like by calendar standards, uh, March 17th or March 19th is a year to the next March 19th or March 17th or April 20th? It's a year. It's a year from one to the next. April 20th, 2017 is a year later. April 20th, 2018. It's a year. So why can't your new year be boom on that day? Why can't your new year be your birthday? At least fucking throw it off. 
throw off the habits, throw off the system, throw off the fucking mind. Because if you attach your goal to a resolution, you're fucked. Because guess what? In a month, no one's going to care about New Year's. No one's going to talk about New Year's. So then your resolution has no fucking connection, has no balls. A New Year's resolution is good for like a week. And then when people stop saying Happy New Year, it doesn't mean fucking shit. It doesn't mean shit. Who talks about New Year's? No one. If you said Happy New Year to someone in August, they will look at you and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's how much bullshit New Year's is. That's how much bullshit New Year's resolution is. Because you said it in January, no one gives a fuck about New Year's in February. So why are you making a goal that's based around that? Fuck New Year's. Fuck a resolution. Change because you're fat and out of shape. Change because you're fed up with where you are. Change because you are not going to get what you want unless you change. And the reasoning? Because you've been doing the same shit your whole life and you don't have it now. So doing the same shit ain't going to make it happen. That's just fucking the most ridiculous down-to-earth common sense that everyone is just absolutely veiled from. You have to do something different. If you're going to be like, well, I don't want to do that. Well, that's hard. Well, then I have to get up really early. Well, then don't have it and shut the fuck up. That is the fire that this show, that this podcast, that fucking I'm bringing all year long. I'm on point. I, and I have all the sources. That's because Swonormous X launched. And I have a place where everyone can go and get shit done today. Stop making fucking excuses. Go to swornormousx.com. Sign up now. I'm not even going to beat around the bush. Now is the day. The first fucking day you make a change. And if you're a member of Swornormous X, right now in the comments, drop a comment. How awesome it is. Because it is fucking awesome. My entire... You want a program? I got a program. You want weekly yoga classes? Holy shit. A yoga class? A quality yoga class will call you cost you 20 bucks for a class. I'm barely charging more than that for an entire fucking month. You get four of those every month, master classes, an entire $400 program, $500 program. This shit is a small sliver for a membership and a community and a family of no bullshit and constant release of content. No one does what we're doing inside Swanormous X and the virtual trainer is launching any day now. So you can literally work out with me and take me with you and see if you can fucking keep up with Papa Swolio. I doubt it. Try me. Try me. I am fucking amped. So much caffeine. (laughs) Big cups, big cups for Papa Swolio. Big cups. I'm a big boy now. I got the big cups. I'm big boy now. I got the big cups. Papa Swolio. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone, for the last episode of the Five Hundos. Good riddance, Five Hundred. Bring on Six Hundred. Fuck you, Five Hundred. Every single episode. Fuck you all. We're on to the Six Hundreds. And remember, everyone, if you've been following me even since the Five Hundreds, now we are all going into it fresh together. The Six Hundos. Let's keep it pristine. Fucking lean and super mean. Peace, McGee's, Deuce McGoose. Catch y'all tomorrow for six double zero. Goose eggs, nipple pinching. Peace, McGee's, Deuce McGoose, Papa Swilio. Uh, uh, uh. And 500s. Peace out. Out. <laughs>